in the previous session we had a brief discussion about adu.net we knew about its features history and gave a basic introduction in this session we learn about the adu.net objects in detail you can see that there are six objects in adu.net namely connection object command object data reader object data set object data adapter object and command builder let's know in detail about each of these objects connection objects these connections help to identify the data base server the database names user names passwords and other parameters that are required for connection to the database a connection objects is used by command objects because they will know which database to execute the command on the second object that is the command object uses a, a command object to send an sql statement to database a command object uses a connection object to figure out which database to communicate with data reader object the data reader object allows you to obtain the result of a select statement from the command object data set object they are in the memory representation of data they contain multiple data table objects which contains rows and columns here you can relation you can define the relationship between tables to create a parent child relations which we'll be discussing in the further sessions another object is the data adapter objects the data adapter fills a data set objects with reading the data and writes it into a single batch when persisting changes back to the database a data adapter contains a reference to the connection objects and opens and closes the connection automatically when reading or writing through the database is done finally command builder by default data adapter contains only the command and it does not contain insert and update and delete commands for the data adapter and command builder in use these are the six objects now let us look into the sql connection object the connection tells the rest of the adu.net code with the database it is talking to it manages all low level logic associated with the specific database protocol here the declare and instantiate the sql connection is has shown below the sql connection c o n n is written has new sql connection basically this is to write the new sql connection few string parameters are given they are data source data source identifies the server and that could be a local machine or a machine domain or any ip address so the data store identifies the server initial catalog is the database name integrated security is used to set the sspi to make connection with the user's window login the user id is the name of the user configured in the sql server that is if you are the user you will be providing the user id password the password matching sql server user id that is to provide security you put a password sql commands and sql data reader object the sql commands object allows you to specify what type of interaction you want to perform with the database example you can do select insert modify and delete commands on rows of data in the database the creating an sql command is given here you always write a new sql command here you select category name from categories sql data reader that is creating an sql reader object sql data reader is a type that is good for reading the data in the most sufficient po manner possible you can use it for writing the data you can read from the sql data reader objects in forward only sequential manner once some data is read you have to say it save it because it will be not able to go back this is getting an instance of an sql is different from the way as you instantiate in adu.net objects 
So here you must call an execute reader on a command object like this.